Hey guys, well I want to go over the battery charger that I've been using for the past year. Uh, it is from through night. Um, it was for testing and as you guys know I have many batteries and flashlights and everything under the sun um, that needs charging. And one of the things I want to say is make sure you're using a reputable company. Um, these lithium ions used to be kind of a niche market with flashaholics. Um, people that knew a little bit more, they knew to, uh, you know, not overpower uh, your flashlights, not to keep them on high um, for an extended amount of time because there are danger, um, dangerous elements in with lithium ion battery usage. Uh, some people have had issues lately with cell phones, uh, lighting pillows on fire, charging at night. Um, there's been many cases, talk to any local uh, structure fire guys, with uh, charging lithium ion uh, tools like a DeWalt. Um, probably not a DeWalt, probably not any mainstream um, companies out there. But lithium ion is becoming more uh, just in your everyday products. A lot of those new e-cigarettes are all using lithium ion battery cells. And because of that, you really need to trust a charger that's going to maintain the charge in an appropriate manner it isn't going to charge too quickly um, the main issue with these things is if they discharge or charge way too quickly or can become overcharged uh, they can explode and so you really don't want to set any of your uh, lithium-ion you know batteries in a charger and leave the house uh, maybe do it overnight but it's one reason I trust kind of the main brand companies three night has done an excellent job uh, if you saw some of my older I think night core videos of their charging units where you were able to use uh, various sizing of lithium ions uh, this is a nickel metal hydride battery throw that in there this is an end loop a very popular nickel metal hydride that's on the market and as you can see it's instantly recognizing the voltage uh, the display that's readed um, that's read the actual voltage current voltage and showing charging levels so you know exactly where the battery's at. Uh, there's no question about whether it needs to be charged, whether it's blinking uh, just a red light saying that it's charged. You know that that is 1.4. This is 4.2, that's almost right where I want that one. This one here, even with a crust head, which we'll get to in a different video. Uh, this was done on a, um, let's see if we can get it to focus. Uh, this was done on a flashlight. It ended up pushing in uh, the head here. I can still get a charge off of this thing. Pretty pretty small unit. Uh, it's got a good size, a little bit smaller than the Nikkor. Um, it does have obviously the AC adapter. There is some other adapters in here um, for mobile charging. It's a little bit big uh, to be carrying around as far as a mobile unit, unless you really need um, you know to charge you know three or four at a time. If you're using the end loops, you may be needing to charge four of those at a time um, in a double A capacity. But just don't use any old off the shelf charger. Get something that you trust, get something that's going to be able to recognize and control it electronically, charge it, keep your cells in a better health, and it's just a nice peace of mind knowing that I have a trustworthy brand um, that's charging my batteries, and I've had no issues with these, and I really like the display. In fact, all my other chargers, other than my small travel chargers, have went to friends and family. This is my go-to unit now, and I'm very happy with it. I appreciate Through Night for sending it to me for testing and review over the past year. And I uh, look forward to testing more of their products. Thank you guys for watching.